Hi everyone, our subject today is ambiguous genitalia. Basics. Evaluation of ambiguous genitalia in an infant requires a great deal of sensitivity. A genicist, endocrinologist, pediatrician, psychologist, and urologist should all be included. A recent consensus statement proposed that term disorder of sexual development, DSD, to include congenital uh, condition in which the chromosomal, gonadal, or anatomical sex is atypical. Some of these children present with ambiguous or atypical genitalia. Criteria that suggest DSD include the following bilateral non palpable testes, micropenis, stretched length less than 2.5 cm. Perennial hypospadias, subcoronal hypospadias, or mild hypospadias with unilateral undescended testes or incomplete scrotal fusion. Clitoromegaly with more than 6 mm or length more than 9 mm. Posterior labial fusion. An inguinal or labial mass. Family history of a DSD or congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Discordance between genital appearance and prenatal karyotype. History. Obtain a careful pregnancy and family history addressing the following. Teratogen exposure, infectious uh, uh, during the pregnancy, androgenic changes in the mother, history of consanguinity, history of male infants with the increased scrotal pigmentation or rugu, Infant death due to vomiting and dehydration could be CAH or adrenogen insensitivity. A female relative with the amenorrhea or infertility could be 46XY, DSD, and any variant sexual development. History of maternal drug exposure like hormones, spironolactone, and environmental chemical disruptors virilization or CAH should be obtained. Vomiting, dehydration, or failure to thrive may also suggest CAH. Physical examination. Notable features include phallic size, symmetry of the external genitalia, presence and location of palpable gonads, and presence of additional anomalies. Palpable gonads imply the presence of Y-chromosome material. Labial fusion, measurement of the anogenital ratio, distance from the anus to the posterior forehead divided by distance from anus to the base of the phallus. If more than uh, half cm, this suggests virilization with posterior labial fusion. Presence of vagina, position of the urethra, length and diameter of the penis, clitoris, Stretched uh, penile length, as we mentioned, 2.5 cm, more than 2.5 cm. Clitoral length is usually less than 1 cm. Development of the scrotum, asymmetry of the external genitalia, suggests ovotesticular or 45X, uh, 46XY DSD. Other dysmorphic feature. Hypertension is seen with the 17 alpha hydroxylase and 11 hydroxylase deficiency. The presence of labiosecrotal fusion and whether the gonads almost always a testis is palpable in the scrotum or inguinal ring should be assessed. A rectal examination is done to assess for the presence of the uterus. Often the cervix can be felt. How to approach to patient with the atypical or ambiguous genitalia disorder of sex development DSD after performing history and physical examination consider imaging ultrasound karyotype 17 hydroxy progesterone electrolytes if the gonad palpable or present on ultrasound if it is yes if there is Mollerian structure present on imaging, fallopian tube, uterus, if it is yes, according to the karyotypes. If the karyotypes 45X, 46XY mosaic, differential diagnosis 45X, 46XY gonadal dysgenesis, mixed gonadal dysgenesis. If the karyotype 
46xx, 46xy mosaic. This is ovo testicular DSD, true hermaphroditism. If the karyotype 46xy consider testosterone FSH LH ratio, uh, differential diagnosis of testicular DSD, partial gonadal dysgenesis, mixed gonadal dysgenesis with XY. Defect in testicular differentiation like Dennis Drash syndrome, Weiger syndrome, Compelomelic syndrome, Swire syndrome, a pure gonadal dysgenesis, and androgen insensitivity syndrome. If there is no Mullerian structure, according also to the karyotype, if it is 46XY, consider testosterone, estradiol, FSH, LH, androstenidine, DHEA, DT, uh, DHT, Differential diagnosis, disorder of testosterone synthesis, lighting cell aplasia, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, defects in androgen action like 5-alpha reductase deficiency, androgen insensitivity syndrome, and Smith-Limley Optis syndrome. If there is no gonad palpable on ultrasound, no gonad palpable or, uh, or present on ultrasound. Also, malaria structure present on imaging like fallopian tube, uterus. If it is no karyotype 46XY, consider testosterone, FSH, LH. Differential diagnosis, XY gonadal agenesis syndrome, anarchia, vanishing testicular syndrome. If the malaria structure present on ultrasound or palpation, Karyotype, uh, if it is uh, karyotype 46XX, if there is an increase in uh, 17 hydroxyprogesterone or abnormal electrolyte, consider 11 deoxycortisol, DHEA, differential diagnosis, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, 21 hydroxylase deficiency, 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency. If it is normal 17 hydroxyprogesterone, differential diagnosis, elevated maternal androgen, and persistent Mullerian duct syndrome. Now, in uh, approaching to patient with karyotype XX uh, in more detail, gonad in the scrotum or in guinal canal or in uh, ultrasound, if it is present, bilateral testis, this is XX male. Ovotestis, this is ovotesticular DSD. If there is a normal steroid precursor, normal FSH, no postnatal virilization, this is, could be leotoma of pregnancy or maternal androgen intake, differential diagnosis, cloacal anomalies, Mullerian agenesis, vaginal agenesis, and clitoral neurofibroma. If there is low or normal cortisol, increase 17 hydroxyprogesterone or Antilly Prexel syndrome, differential diagnosis, uh, P450 uh, oxidoreductase deficiency. If there is increased cortisol, high low dose dexamethasone suppression test, differential diagnosis, glucocorticoid resistant syndrome. If there is an increase in 17 hydroxyprogesterone, increase dihydroepiandrostenone, low cortisol, increase plasma renin activity, differential diagnosis, 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase deficiency. If there is cystic ovaries, increase in FSH, differential diagnosis, aromatase deficiency. If there is an increase in 11 deoxycortisol, decrease plasma renin activity, low cortisol, this is 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency. If there is markedly elevated 17 hydroxyprogesterone, this is 21 hydroxylase deficiency. And approaching to patient with karyotype XY, if the uterus present, patient need imaging laparoscopy. If there is no gonad, this is persistent Mullerian duct syndrome. If there is ovary, ovotestis, this is ovotesticular DSD. 
If there is this uh, genetic gonads, this is gonad of this genesis. If the uterus absent in uh, karyotype XY, patient need basal LH, FSH, testosterone, HCG, stimulated test, uh, testosterone, dihydrotestosterone, androstenedone, A4, anti-mullerian hormone, AMH. According to the result, if it is high or normal testosterone, increased testosterone, dihydrotestosterone ratio, this is 5-alpha reductase deficiency. If it is normal testosterone, dihydrotestosterone, this is androgen insensitivity syndrome or syndromic DSD. If it is low testosterone with low anti-mullerian hormone, According, uh, as we mentioned, if in case of uh, present uterus patient need imaging and laparoscopy. If it is normal anti-mullerian hormone, if there is normal testosterone precursor, this is leading cell hypoplasia. If there is an increase 17 hydroxy an increase in dihydroepiandrostenone. This is a 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase deficiency. If there is an increase 17 hydroxyprogesterone or androstenedone, this is 17 and 20 lyase deficiency. If there is an increase in progesterone and corticosterone, low cortisol, this is CYP17 deficiency. Low testosterone androstenedone ratio, this is 17 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase deficiency. Low or normal cortisol, increase 17 hydroxyprogesterone or antilliprexal syndrome, as we mentioned, this is P450 uh, uh, oxyreductase deficiency. If there is little or no C18, C19, C21 steroids, this is side chain cleavage enzyme steroidogenic acute regular regulatory protein mutation. If there is an increase 7 dihydrocholesterol, low cholesterol, this is Smith Limley Optis syndrome. Prader stages. Uh, it is degree of genital ambiguity uh, does not differentiate between 46XX DSD and 46XY DSD. It merely provides information about the extent of the abnormality once the karyotype is known. Prader staging is commonly used to describe the degree of virilization in 46XX DSD. Stage 1 is otherwise normal looking female genitalia with isolated phallic enlargement. Stage 2 is further phallic enlargement and posterior labial fusion without urogenital sinus. Stage 3 is significant phallic enlargement with the almost complete fusion of the labiosacrotal folds and urogenital sinus with a single perennial opening. Stage 4 is phallus with the penile appearance with the complete labiosacrotal fusion and urogenital sinus opening at the base or ventral surface of the phallus. Stage 5 is phallus with the appearance of well-developed penis with the completely fused labiosacrotal folds and urogenital sinus opening at the body or glands of the phallus. This is normal female uh, genitalia. This is stage one, stage two, three, four, five. This is normal male genitalia. Key points. The most common presentation of the disorder of sex development DSD is with the abnormalities of the external genitalia, ambiguous genitalia, usually detected at birth in uh, 1 in 4,500 uh, 4, live birth. Most virilized X, uh, 46XX infant have congenital adrenal hyperplasia, CAH, which may lead to death if untreated. Only 50% of under-virilized uh, 46XY patients 
receive a definitive diagnosis. The common diagnoses include androgen insensitivity syndrome, 5 alpha reductase deficiency, gonadal dysgenesis, and testosterone biosynthetic defect. All infants with the suspected CAH should be closely monitored for weight, serum electrolyte, and blood glucose. Measurement of 17 hydroxyprogesterone should be avoided during the first two days of life. Level of 17 hydroxyprogesterone may be falsely elevated in infant with sepsis and prematurity and should be interpreted with caution. Infants with the 46XY complete androgen insensitivity syndrome and 46XX CAH should be read as females, whereas for those with the 5 alpha reductase deficiency or 17 beta hydroxysteroidine deficiency, a male assignment should be strongly considered. Patient with the GBY positive gonadal dysgenesis and partial androgen insensitivity syndrome with the intra abdominal testis, Turner with the Y chromosome have high risk of germ cell malignancy and should undergo gonadectomy before puberty. Normal preterm female infant may appear to have clitoromegaly since they have larger clitoral breadth compared to the body size. All infants with the ambiguous genitalia and non-palpable gonads should be considered to have congenital adrenal hyperplasia and closely monitored until proved otherwise. Isolated penile hypospadias or isolated micropenis does not merit evaluation for disorder of sex development. Clinical pointer toward etiology of disorder of sex development, maternal virilization during pregnancy, placed, uh, placental aromatase deficiency, leotoma of pregnancy, maternal androgen secreting tumors, maternal androgen intake, early sibling death, congenital adrenal hyperplasia with salt wasting, Failure to thrive, hypotension, hyperkalemia, CAH with salt wasting or SF1 mutation, hypertension, hypokalemia, differential diagnosis, 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency or 17 alpha hydroxylase deficiency, hyperpigmentation, CAH or SF1 mutation, peripheral precocious T. Precocious puberty, 21 hydroxylase deficiency, 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency, 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase deficiency, gonadal dysgenesis with the gonadoblastoma, inguinal hernia in a baby girl, complete androgen insensitivity, testosterone synthetic defects, lighting cell aplasia. Bilateral well palpable gonads with the ambiguous genitalia, androgen insensitivity syndrome, 5 alpha reductase deficiency, testosterone synthetic defects, and gliding cell hypoplasia, asymmetric genitalia, mixed gonadal dysgenesis, ophotesticular DSD, apparent male external genitalia with no palpable gonads. Severely virilized CAH female, hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism, testicular regression syndrome. Cyclical hematuria, ovotesticular DSD, virilization at puberty, partial androgen insensitivity syndrome, 5 alpha reductase deficiency, 17 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase deficiency, partial gonadal dysgenesis. Gynecomastia, partial androgen insensitivity syndrome, partial gonadal dysgenesis, 17 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase deficiency, progressive postnatal virilization, CAH, aromatase deficiency at puberty, primary aminoria, severe oligohypominoria, uh, complete androgen insensitivity, pure gonadal dysgenesis, 
17 alpha hydroxylase deficiency aromatase deficiency recommended investigation initial evaluation for children with the ambiguous genitalia should include 17 hydroxyprogesterone electrolyte imaging karyotype determination in addition to ultrasound pelvic renal adrenal other imaging may include avoiding cystoerythrography and retrograde genitography pelvic ct or mri may be needed <coughs> for further evaluation endoscopy laparotomy and gonadal biopsy may be required for complete examination of the genitalia with the ovotesticular DSD. CAH due to 21 hydroxylase deficiency is the most common cause of uh, the most common cause of uh, genital ambiguity in female. Currently, all uh, United States and many other countries include tests for 17 hydroxyprogesterone level as part of a newborn screening program. Infant with the positive screen test should be brought in for further testing, electrolyte, and repeat test. 45X, 46XY gonadal dysgenesis, mixed gonadal dysgenesis, is the second most common cause of ambiguous genitalia. There is wide phenotypic variation. Most children are short and the stigmata of Turner syndrome are present in one third of patients. There is mosaism involving the Y chromosome, usually a streak gonad on one side and this genetic or normal appearing testes on the other. Mullerian and Wolfian duct development correspond to the epsilateral gonad. Ovotesticular DSD, true hermaphroditism, is rare. Gonadal contain both ovarian and testicular tissue. Both tissue types may be present in one gonad, ovotestis, or there may be a testis in one side and very ovary on the other. About 70% have 46XX karyotype, 20% have 46XX, 46XY mosaism, and less than 10% of pres uh, uh, present with the ovotesticular DSD are 46XY. In partial gonad of this genesis, the karyotype is 46XY. It is a form of mixed gonadal dysgenesis. 46XY DSD may be due to defects in testicular differentiation. Patients have female external and internal genitalia. Some have ambiguous genitalia. Defects in testicular differentiation include the following syndrome. Dennis Drash syndrome consistent of uh, nephropathy with the ambiguous genitalia and bilateral Wilms tumor. Mullerian ducts are often present. Weiger syndrome include Wilms tumor, an irida, genitourinary malformation, and mental retardation. There is a deletion of one copy of chromosome 11p13. Males with this syndrome have atypical genitalia. Compomelic uh, syndrome is a form of short limbed dysplasia. The gonads may contain elements of both ovaries and testes. In XY pure gonadal dysgenesis, Swire syndrome, patients have normal stature, a female phenotype including internal genitalia, uterus, fallopian tube, vagina, and citric gonad. They present with delayed puberty and hypergonadotrophic primary amenorrhea. Other causes of 46XY DSD include defects in androgen action. In androgen resistance syndrome, testicular feminization, there is a defect in androgen receptor. Although testes are present but are often intra-abdominal and testosterone and LH level are high, external genitalia are female, the vagina is blind pouch, the uterus is absent, but fallopian tube remnant may be present in approximately one-third of patients. Diagnosis is usually at time of puberty, 
with the phenotypic female present with the amenorrhea. Defect in testicular hormones produce a 46XY male with the inadequate muscularization. This was uh, previously known as male pseudohermaphroditism. Boys with the Leiden cell aplasia usually appear phenotypical female with a mild virilization. Testes, epididymis, and vas deferens are present. The uterus and fallopian tube are absent. Testosterone level are low and the LH is elevated. CH in 46XY uh, male may be due to the following enzyme deficiency. Lipoid adrenal uh, hyperplasia is a severe form of CAH present in southwestern crisis, hyponatremia, and hyperkalemia. Genetic male have uh, no Mullerian structure. Deficiency of 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase cause ambiguous genitalia in males and female and may also present with a salt wasting. There is increased dihydroepiandrosterone dehia, and decreased androstenidone, testosterone and estradiol. Deficiency of 17 hydroxylase 17-20 lyase cause ambiguous genitalia in male with the hypertension, hypokalemia, and decreased serum androgens. In 17 ketosteroid reductase deficiency, Mullerian ducts are absent and show vagina and shallow vagina is present. In 5 alpha reductase deficiency, inadequate Conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone DHT occurs in which necessary for fetal muscularization. Consequently, the newborn is characterized by a small phallus, ambiguous genitalia, hypospadias, buffet scrotum, and on occasion, scrotal labial testis. A high testosterone to DHT ratio is diagnostic. Smith Limley Optis syndrome is an autosomal recessive disorder characterized by growth retardation, microcephaly, ptosis, syndactyly, mental retardation, and genital ambiguity in males. Malaria remnants are absent. In XY gonadal agenesis syndrome, embryonic testicular regression syndrome, Genitalia are of are female or atypical ambiguous in appearance. Mullerian structure are absent. It is presumed that testicular regress between the eighth and twelfth week of gestation. Anarchia vanishing testicular syndrome is a form of testicular regression seen in 46XY phenotypic boys who present with the cryptorchidism. Presumably, there was active fetal testicular function during the genital differentiation and with the later regression, usually after the 20th week. It uh, may also be due to testicular torsion. Testosterone levels are low and gonadotropy levels are elevated. If this occurs before 8 weeks of gestation, it results in Swire syndrome and female genitalia develop. Elevated maternal androgen may be due to maternal ingestion of medication or hormones or virilization adrenal, uh, virilizing adrenal or ovarian tumor in the mother or may be idiopathic. The degree of virilization depends on the timing of fetal exposure. Persistent Mullerian duct syndrome may be seen in phenotypic males with the cryptorchidism. Mullerian structure are often discovered during surgery for cryptorchidism. CAH is the most common 46XX DSD and is usually due to 21 hydroxylase deficiency with the increase 17 hydroxyprogesterone and adrenal androgen dihydroepiandrostenidine, uh, androstenidine, and androstenidine. The severe 
form may occur as salt wasting, hyponatremia, hyperkalemia, acidosis, vomiting, dehydration, and circulatory collapse. Normal ovaries and Mullerian structure are present. External genitalia change depend on time of intrauterine exposure and can range from complete labiosacrotal fusion to clitoral hypertrophy. In 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency, 11 deoxycortisol and deoxycorticosteridine level are high, producing hypertension in infants. Thank you for your listening.